Hello, in today's episode, I'm going to show you how to connect and configure and uh, get some basic uh, actions with uh, Satel Integra 64 uh, alarm module. Uh, the first steps of uh, configuration uh, is in the server software in NetStation. Uh, at first, you should uh, make sure that uh, you have the appropriate license for the sensors, as I'm showing on the screen now. Um, and that it's the uh, latest version of the server. Um, now we go to the configuration, advanced, subtle alarm system, and we see the ETHM1 module. Uh, the module is responsible to connect via F Ethernet uh, to our uh, network mm. and we uh, need to know the IP address and the user code from the subtle, uh, from the subtle system. The quick instruction about configuring uh, the ETHM1 module is down in the box here. If you have any doubts, just go and read it. But basically, we just need the IP address of the module, the integration port, and the user code. Okay, so I'm going to name it subtle test. I'm going to input the IP address. And my user code. And it should be visible right now. Okay. Here is uh, the green light is indicating that we are connected to the module and we can proceed to the next steps. Uh, after uh, the refreshing um, in those two boxes here you will see the recent uh, events and the alarms and uh, mal malfunctions about the satellite module. We can watch the configuration uh, just by clicking configure module and we can see the list of the uh, sensors, the list of the outputs, and the list of the zones that are currently configured in the module. Oh, and it started to download all the recent events here. Okay, uh, that's all in the server software. Now we can go to the client software, to the CMS4, and get some basic actions from the subtle module. After configuring a subtle module in a NetStation software, we can proceed to the client software, to the CMS4. We uh, have to make sure that um, we have the DVR connected and after we make we made sure mm, we are ready to uh, go to administrator mode, add emaps to the um, tab bar on the top and then we can go to emaps and add our first, first emap. Uh, at the beginning we should uh, just add a background image. I have one prepared here on the desktop. Yeah, it should loads pretty quickly and this is our starting point for all the actions today. Uh, after we um, load the image we can press right click and open configuration tool and here we can see all the devices connected to the server that we choose on the top here. I'm choosing my uh, nameless main server and as I can see I have two cameras and then I can under it there is a subtle test and in the subtle test I can see that I have two outputs, one zone and four sensors. The first step uh, in placing the devices on the map would be just to drag the zone on the uh, map. So we just 
click, hold and drag it onto the picture. And then we can stretch it and customize to fit all the shapes we needed just by double clicking on the edge. After double clicking it will create one more bending point for the external, external uh, lines as I did now. After, I, uh, after placing the zone itself we can move the subtle sensors in my case those are uh, the window window sensors and one panic switch <laughs> and as, as we can see uh, it says zone one zone disarmed um, and by right clicking on the zone we can arm the zone or force on the zone it depends on the configuration of the subtle module itself and to make a nice macro that will automatically open us a, a camera after triggering an alarm we can go to configuration open CMS client and open task scheduler here here I prepared one example of this mm, that would be test subtle and it's it, the event that uh, triggers the event uh, the action is a switch 5 mm, sensor alarm and the action would be show camera 1 on monitor 1 that's the easiest way to, to, to make an action with the alarm system and I will uh, demonstrate it by uh, triggering the alarm manually. So let's arm the zone. The zone is blinking and it says time to exit during the time that the, the alarm sets itself up. Now it went hard green and we can disarm it now. But we don't want to, we want to trigger the alarm. So let's watch. So after I triggered the alarm, it automatically uh, brought us to the camera that should be with the system. Now we can go back to emaps. As we can see, there is this panic button and the zone is blinking red. Now we can clear the alarm, disarm it. And we are at the starting point. For more uh, visual presentation, we can also drag the cameras on the layout here on the EMAP. And by right clicking properties, we can turn it around and set it to fit the real installation that we are wor working on. And the second camera here. And those are the main features of uh, the subtle integration with uh, NetStation Enterprise. Uh, by expanding more features uh, like this advanced macros, we can create mm, a really self-sustaining uh, alarm system that it's uh, easy to, to operate for even uh, not qualified people. And it allows us for 24 seven uh, surveillance.
from any point that we can install CMS4. That gives us a huge opportunity to to expand the possibilities of our security system. In future episodes, I'm going to show you more advanced options of the integration, like more advanced macros. That's it for today, and thank you for joining me in the video.